up y'all welcome back to my channel it's your girl just Kara Z A and if you're new here please make sure to hit that subscribe button because I make lifestyle and travel videos and spring has sprung ladies and gentlemen so I'm gonna be doing some fun things on this channel so you don't want to miss it so what had happened was right back in Jan I went to Cape Town And as you guys know, I vlog like most of my trips and I did vlog this particular one, but my hard drive got damaged on the trip or rather coming back from the trip when I was like ready to edit, everything just went south. So luckily I had some footage on my phone. So that's what we're going to be looking at. We're going to be going down memory lane, just sharing with you guys some of the things that I did as well as rating the experience. You know, I felt like that was more, I don't know, informative in terms of like just knowing, you know, what to expect when you go to Cape Town or places to visit because we went to like some famous tourist attraction places. So let's get into it okay so the first place that we went to was obviously the beach so we went to Camps Bay Beach which is obviously like a famous beach in Cape Town that everybody wants to go to and honestly this was like my second time in Camps Bay and it's always super windy Like that wind from Table Mountain is just too much. I haven't had like a great experience. I mean, it is a beautiful beach. It is in a beautiful area. I mean, it's Kemp's Bay. It's stunning. But honestly, I'm, I'm refraining from saying it's not all that. But I feel like there are other beaches that you could explore and go into Cape Town. Because also we went during like Jan. So it was still school holiday. So it was mad for. It was packed. So out of 10, I would rate Kemp's Bay like a 6 or a 7. I would give it that. So the second place that we went to was Boca. So I've always wanted to go like see these colorful houses that you see everywhere on the internet and honestly when i got there i wouldn't say i expected much i just knew that it was like a neighborhood it wasn't like an art museum or anything crazy like that so when we got there it was it was it was what i expected no lie but i feel like obviously if you are like looking at it from the internet you might have like high expectations but just know that it is a residential area it's people's houses people live there we literally like saw a family coming down the stairs while also like putting my camera together so it's it's an okay place if you just want to go there and take pictures nothing more i feel like one thing that i enjoyed was that we actually got to go buy some mousses and like get some water and drinks from like this other store <laughs> I feel like sometimes when traveling for me rather i notice that i don't like walk around the neighborhoods a lot like i just get out of like my hotel get into the uber and then i go to my destinations so we just got some samosas you guys as you should when you're in cape town as you should so i really enjoyed just like walking around seeing people seeing people look at me and be like oh she's obviously a tourist because there was literally this other man that was like giving me directions about like posing and things like that so it's it's a nice place but out of 10 i would also give it like a a six you know it's just a residential area but for pictures it's dope who oh, what was the other one so another famous place that we went to was the two oceans aquarium right so this is also under like the top 10 things to do when in cape town And honestly, I love aquariums. I love like sea animals. I just, I just love things. I'm a lover of things, right? So for me, this was a nice experience, you know, even though I would have like expected like a bit of shaka marine and in, like into it, like having like dolphins in there, but I saw a shark, which to me was super cool because I would do want to like go uh, shark cage diving. So that was nice. It was like a small shark that was there. We saw Nemo. I'm pretty sure we saw Dory as well. Um, it was a nice place. You know what I mean? I feel like it's chilled. Uh, honestly, you can't expect the world from it but i feel like it was it was super nice what did i tell you about cape town sun why did i tell you it was so hot but it was so nice inside you guys i love sea life so it was really nice to see the penguins i want to see dolphins but i don't have dolphins so yeah that that is that so we just want to check out the market here and see what's up so for me i really did enjoy it so i'll give it like a, a seven or an eight if you're into like aquariums and things like that i would give it like a nice solid seven or an eight <laughs> we also went to a food market there right after like two oceans we it was a sun was it a sunday uh, no it wasn't a sunday it was a saturday so we went to like a food market there it was like nice seeing some arts and crafts we tasted some food we got some dumplings which were very nice i got some ice cream as well like cookies and crumbs 
Crumbs and Gook. I don't know what that place is called. But yeah, it was super nice. So when in Cape Town, you obviously, obviously have to go to VNA Waterfront. You just have to. You just, you just, it's, it's, it's standard procedure. It's, it's mandatory. You have to go there. So I've also been there like a couple of times and it, it's nice. I love it. It's a beautiful mall as well as we went on a boat. We are walking testimonies. Happy Sunday, you guys. I have been a terrible vlogger. <laughs> Honestly, Judy, but now we are at VA and V and A waterfront and we're about to go on a cruise child We're about to go on the boat, which is essential. I feel like every time you're near the ocean. So excited. Oh, Hi guys. Hi guys Matching with the mother um, so we went there on for like a Sunday boat cruise, which was also super special. And the funny thing about the boats actually was that um, I remember asking like our um, our security, so to say, of where we were staying, like how do you book, how do you go about it? So I actually booked with this other company via like WhatsApp and things like that. But then we got there and we got hijacked because <laughs> I think we were about to miss our boat. That's why. And then we got hijacked by this other man, and he was like, "No, you, ours is like more prettier and things like that." And then okay, mom. Um, that boat. That's how I did. That person. Also, it was two fifty. Okay. So yeah, it was around about two fifty per person, and it was really nice. I enjoyed the boat cruise. The weather was a bit gloomy, but it didn't stop us from having fun. Um, we saw some dolphins, you guys. <laughs> know that i'm a sucker for dolphins so that was special Ooh, guys i just saw some dolphins i don't know if you, i was able to capture them but i saw some dolphins and i'm so excited this is what was this this is why i came on this cruise to see dolphins i'm so happy my trip is complete so i didn't see them like entirely but we got glimpses of them which was obviously beautiful so i enjoyed that so vna waterfront i'll give it like a a solid nine or ten out of ten it's it's a it's a great spot it has everything that you need and perfect place so a nice restaurant that we went to in cape town which i thoroughly thoroughly enjoyed and loved so much was grand what is it called <laughs> actually i haven't shown you guys my crew but to give up a twix i'm all one cape town yeah but i feel like it's a solo trip so we're here at grand it was on grand africa cafe beach it's beautiful i've always wanted to come here well not always but you know now that we're here <laughs> might as well <laughs> so this is like a beautiful restaurant guys it's next to the ocean it's so beautiful because also we went like i think midday so it still wasn't like as full and it was on a monday yeah so it was really not full so we went there had a nice lunch so i just ordered the virgin uh pina colada you guys look at how cute it is so beautiful take i mean yeah it's very tropical pineapple-y and some vibes So I got the chicken and broccoli pasta. The service was great. I love this beach and not, not this beach, this restaurant, and I would highly, highly recommend it. It's so beautiful because it was my first time having like going to a restaurant that had like a beach, like we're literally on the beach type thing, and you could see like people going into the ocean and things like that with like their what do they call those scooters? I don't know what the name is. So <laughs> I don't know what that was. Are we recording or not? Okay, we're still recording. So yeah, it was that. Hey, I guess you But anyway, so Grand Cafe was great. And then going back to like my trip in 2020, um, I obviously did like the touristy thing, which was like go to Table Mountain. And I do recommend you go to Table Mountain. It's absolutely beautiful. Somebody said that Table Mountain's always smoking happily and I couldn't agree more. <laughs> so yeah it's standing up there and i would give it like a solid like nine out of ten it was a great experience to just see it and marvel at and i mean it's one of the things that you always see when like people talk about cape town or you see videos about cape town pictures about cape town so it's definitely worth it go do it and then the second thing that we did um was robin island right so robin island was it was okay you know history you know learning about the past and all of the all of those things being triggered once more um um, but what I recommend it, I mean, you could do without it, to be quite honest, but if that's what you're into, if you want to know more, if you want to see it, but yeah, you could go there. It's super dry, it's super hot, but I'd give it like a seven or an eight. 
I'd give it like a seven out of ten. It was it was okay, but I none of these like both of these things I wouldn't do again. You know what I mean? They were fun for like first time and have it be that. But going back to Cape Town, I wouldn't do that. But yeah, that is my overall like ratings on like famous tourist attractions in Cape Town. I do hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you have been to any of these places, please please guys, I can't even talk. I just I mm. please do comment down below your experience. You know, and do share some hidden gems in Cape Town because I feel like we all just go for like the same things which is like kind of boring because the place is so big and there's so much to do so if you have some hidden gems that you've discovered please do share in the comments down below because i do know that there is somebody out there that's planning a trip to cape town soon so please do share and yeah i hope you enjoyed this like sit down style of vlogging i will be back to my normal vlogs real real soon and i love you guys so much thank you so much for watching if you like this video give it a thumbs up yo and make sure to follow me on instagram you can still go like scroll down to like my cape town content so fire and and I love you guys so much. See you soon. Bye. Ladies and gentlemen. Her. Somebody's literally looking at me right now from the balcony.